And welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're gonna learn great balls of fire. First, I'm going to play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, finger position by finger position with tabs, right here as usual. So, uh, it goes like this. Enjoy. <laughs> for this. Hey, that everlasting bass line from G to C. Three on the bass, zero to three on the fifth string. And you want to make sure that you end it with the second finger because then you have this. Hey, C sharp nine, that Hendrix chord. Hey, but on three instead of on seven. So you have um, your little finger on four on the second string and below it you have three two three okay so and you play it once okay so and you keep playing the second string and then you have one on the second string three on the third one one four on the second Okay, so. Now you can leave your pinky there, okay, your little finger, keep it ringing, and play the same bass line, okay, from the fifth string to the fourth. Okay, so you can do. Okay, and leave it ringing. Okay, again, second finger, and this time. Okay, you have this chord, it's F7, it's um, 4 on the 2nd string, and this time it's 2 and 3 on strings, 3 and 4. Okay, so it's this, so. So you play 4, 4, 4, 4, and then 1 again on the 2nd string, 3 on the 3rd, and then 1, 1 again on the 2nd, but the last note is 3 on the 4th. Okay, so it's... And then it's zero, one, two, three on the bass string. And then it's G flat 13. It's four and four on strings, two and three, three on the D string on the fourth. So, and then three, three, two, one, or three, three, zero, one, or three, two, zero, one. Any way you want to lead from G to F, okay? Okay, this is the original, three, three, two, one. Okay, so, okay, this works, this works, this works. So, just do whatever you feel like. Okay, it's only a bass move, so. Um, and then, one, one, one on the uh, second string, three on the fourth. So. You can just do it like that. Um, and then you have that C sharp nine again. And then you have one, one on the second, three on the third. You slide to eight with your forefinger on the first string. So it's, 
Okay? And then, 10, 10, 8, hammer on to 10 on the D string. Now, remember this because this is the line that ends the verse as well. So, all right, so that's the intro. Now, the um, little finger goes on the second string on four and stays there throughout. Now, um, what we're going to be playing right now are bass lines over those chords. C, F, and G. Now, the arpeggios are pretty simple. Um, you play the C chord head, okay, with your thumb, um, and then you end up on two on the third string. And two on the third string. You have this twice. Now, you need to add the second string to the mix. You start on the bass note. Now, if you want to memorize where to play the notes, I advise against that um, because, again, this is an arrangement. You can just keep playing the second string. It doesn't really matter because it's just one note. The melody is just one note. So the rhythm here doesn't have to be precise if you can't yet play a counterpoint sort of finger style. The only thing that's important here is to play the bass note first. Okay? Doesn't really matter where you play the second string. Let me show you an exaggerated example. Did it make any difference? Not really. Don't worry about the second string. Just keep playing it and just feel it. Okay? The most important thing is to feel it. Feel the groove. So. And then you have the F chord. Now, again, the little finger remains on four on the second string, and you play this one on the bass, zero, three on the fifth string, and then the open D string. So what I suggest is just practice each of these bass lines on its own, okay? Separately. Okay, before you move on to the next one. Once the C bass line feels, you know, once you feel at home with it, go to the F bass line and do that. Hey, again, don't worry about the second string. Your goal here is to create that counterpoint. And then you have G. Now, um, you play the uh, C head twice, you play the F head twice, and then you play the G head once, only once. So um, the G head is almost the same as the C head. It's just that you end on three instead of two. So you end on three on the D string because you start from the sixth. So okay, it's G7. So and then you play F once. And then you play this line, okay, which you already know from the intro. So that's the verse. The chorus is really, really cool. Um, I do this, okay? I put one on the bass and four and three on strings two and three, okay? This. So. Okay, and I just play the F bass, so... And then I go to 8 and I bar, so you can slide. Okay, and I play 8 and 9 on strings 1 and 3, and then 
Okay, because it's Ooh, feels good. Okay, so then you go back to F, you play again, the same thing. And then you have G. Now um, you play this. So you don't even have to bar, you can just play the G bass. And then you have 3-3-3 three, three, three on the second string. You have 5-3 hammer on to 4 on the third string. 3 on the second. And 5 on the fourth. This is a really cool blues line. And then you have G-G-G-G. And then you have 3 on the second string, 5 on the fourth. And then, okay, the same thing, you play it twice. Then you have three on the second string with the G bass. Yeah, you can play it together. And then you have five, five on the first string. Now, okay, um, it's five and then the G bass, five and then the G bass, so. Okay, it's, and then you have three, five on the first string, you can hammer it on, and then you're back to the verse. So, um, and, okay, so download the tab for free. The link is below in the description. Okay, all the tabs on Lick and Riff are for free. And while you're there, you can check out my courses. I have over 20 of them and I have a full course program, um, a membership uh, program which contains all the courses, everything that I have to teach you. And I'm working on new ones for the new year. So uh, stay tuned and I will see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.